Hi everyone, this is Appside Watchman Antoine again, and I forgot to tell you all um, something that um, I forgot to mention. Now, when the Lord gave me um, gave me a warning to tell all the people to get away from idolatry, pride, and sexual sins, including sexual immorality, that means that God is warning them. To stay away from them because those things, including all ungodly sins, will lead you straight into sins, into darkness, into evil, into witchcraft, into more problems, and even into the wrath of God. And then the wages of sin will also lead you straight to death. But the gift of God is the eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So we do not want to see people perish into the lake of fire in hell. We do not want to see people carrying idolatry, sexual sins, lust and temptations, and even pride as well. They all got to let go of them because it's not worth it to hold on to those things as well. So I'm encouraged you all, and this is the final warning from the Lord. Let it go, get rid of it immediately, and repent in the name of Jesus. God is not angry at you all, but he's telling you all the truth of what will take place in the future. And that, and that our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, is coming back real soon. So please repent immediately and get to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. Accept him with his love that he has in store for you. He is not here to condemn you. He is not here to put you down. He is here to save your life away from sins, away from idolatry, away from sexual sins, away from sexual immorality, away from fornifications, and even away from pride and all barrenness and all unforgiveness and all memory recalls and all domain issues. So now is the time to come out of there and to come unto Jesus. Come back to Jesus. Come back to his home in heaven. You belong to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So we're not here to put people down. We're here to lead all souls straight to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And I encourage you all to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to all the people this month, next month, July, August, September, October, November, December, and all the above. Throughout this year, next year, and so many years to come until Jesus Christ returns quickly and unexpectedly. The Lord does not want anyone to perish in the last days. He does not want anyone to go to hell in the last minute. He wants all people, all souls to come out of sins and to escape from sins and to escape from death and to escape from evil and to escape from demons who control sins and lean people straight to hell. We cannot let the devil do that to us. It's time now to repent and to give your life to Jesus Christ. So if you see a lot of people still struggling with a lot of sins, don't hate them. Love them, forgive them, bless them, pray for them, and minister to them by sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. But whatever you do, do not accept their sins. Do not accept their sins. God is charging us to go out. He's, he's commending us and he's encouraging us to go out and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. God is still on a rescue mission right now. No matter what a man and woman said, that God is not, that God is not on a rescue mission, that's a lie from the pit of hell. You cannot force God to do this and do that. God will still do it, just like he did already. We're still on a rescue mission. And our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is still on a rescue mission as well. Encourage people to come out of their sins. Share the gospel of Jesus Christ with God's love and with the love of Jesus. I remember a long time ago when I was ministering at downtown city outside the courthouse. And there was a person that approached to me. And that person is a woman. So I went ahead and me and my uh, me and my friend we started praying for that person. And we started evangelizing that, that person by hearing the voice of God and letting God speak to that person. And then 
after that, that person started crying. And then that person needed God's love so bad. And that person said, I needed that so much. I needed that. And, as, and, and I said, like, wow, that is the presence of God pouring out his love unto you. Not lust, not temptations, not sexual immorality, not sexual sins. No, God's love that shall forever be in his and her life. That God loves that person so much. And he, and he still hates sins, but he still loves the sinners. So God is reaching out to a lot of people that's been struggling with all that lust and temptation, sexual immorality. Sexual sins, idolatry, pride, etc. All these ungodly sins. And that's when we pray for that person. And then we led that person unto our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And praise God, that person have accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. And so, after that, I told the person that I encourage you to find a church home. And then I showed them some uh, different lists of church homes as well. That happened way back a long time ago. And then when I noticed that the person is still a woman, that person said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not a woman. I'm a man. And I said, wow. But I just stay focused on Jesus. And God is so happy that God has uh, detransitioned from the person who um who was a a trans woman now going back to a man god can god can still do all things to de trans to de transition from a trans person back into a regular person a regular male and female that god has created him and her in the first place so God can still reach out to all these people as well. All these people who struggle with sexual immorality. All these people who struggle with pride, sins, rebellion, witchcraft, all that stuff. Because there's a lot of people that, that still dislike people who have attitude problems against them. But what they all need is God's love. That's the missing puzzle. Including our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Our ultimate missing puzzle. And also God's love. Not self-love. Not love itself. But God's love. And that really changed my life. When I ministered to that person. So that's why I encourage you all. To minister with them in love. Show, show who you are as a follower of Jesus Christ. Not a person with bad attitude problems. Don't condemn him and her. Don't hate them. Don't fight against flesh and blood. Share God's love to them. Because they are human beings just like you. And they are still part of God's creation. And it's up to you to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's time to bring all people back unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So that they will not be left behind in the last days. And that we do not... Want to be uh, disqualified for missing our blessings from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. We have to do what God commands us to do. And that is to show God's love unto them. And read First John chapter 4 verse 20 and 21. And then also the rest of the book of John's. The, the, I mean the rest of the book of First John's chapter 4. And also the entire book of the Bible. God is not here to put us down and to put people down. He is here to save all people's lives. Before our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ comes back. He's coming back quickly, unexpectedly, and real soon. No one knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man will come. So that's how I evangelize to a lot of people struggling with sexual Immorality, sexual sins, idolatry, pride, etc. I've been ministering to a lot of people outside the courthouse almost like three years ago. And so right now, I'm still ministering online as well. And I'm still, as an apostolic watchman, I'm still praying. And I'm still watching and I'm still in a scene. 
towards a lot of people. And that's what Watchmen does. And a Watchwoman does too. Of course, I'm still apostolic Watchmen as well. And also a prophet as well. So I do not want to see people's blood in our hands. And not even in my hands as well. We must share the gospel of Jesus Christ starting now. Including next month, July, August, September, October, November, December. This is it, y'all. We must do what God tells us to do. Now, if, if for some reason you feel scared of sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, don't be. Ask God to give you strength to minister to all the people. Ask God to show you uh, um, some, some great ways to evangelize the people. Even if it don't have to be in the streets, but it can be on social media. And God will give you words to say to his people. But don't hate them. Because all these people are not your enemies. And they are not our enemies too. The real enemy is Satan, the devil, and all demon spirits in the spiritual world. Those are the ones that we are to hate the most. And that's Satan and all demon spirits only. Not people. People are not our enemies. Even though they hate us, but we still have to forgive them, bless them, pray for them, love them, and then move on and give them all to God. Pray for them and intercede for them and let God take care of the rest. He's still watching us. He's still watching them as well. And he's still praying for all of us and all of them as well. So I encourage you all, Continue to share the gospel of Jesus Christ for those who are struggling with sins, all ungodly sins, including idolatry, pride, witchcraft, sexual immorality, sexual sins, lust and temptations, etc. So be encouraged. Share the gospel of Jesus Christ. We got work to do. And Jesus Christ is coming back quickly and unexpectedly that no one knows when he's coming. Check out Matthew chapter 24, verse 36 to 44. Amen. So remember, don't hate people. Love them. Forgive them. Bless them. And pray for them. But do not love sin. Because sin will lead you straight to death. Don't love that sin, but still love them. Still love them and still lead them straight to Jesus Christ. Don't force them. Pray for them. Minister to them with God's love. That's what they really want. Because no one knows, not even them. No one knows what they're going through. Even if they don't want to share it to us. And we do not even know what they're going through. Or what really happened. Or how it really happened. Or how they, how they got into sin. No. We really want our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to save these people's lives. And that God is using us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not force them. But to let them make a choice to choose eternal life with Jesus Christ forever. Or eternal death in hell. We're here to share God's love unto all of them. Not hate them. So let's not hate them. Let's show God's love unto them. And do it with God's love. According to to 1 John chapter 4, verse 20 and 21. Do it God's way, not your way. Amen. So, continue on learning to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Continue to share the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the streets and on social media. Stay encouraged. Don't give up. God is with you. God will send His Holy Spirit on you. And the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you towards Directions from God and towards instructions from God as well. Amen. So that's about it for now. God bless you all. Jesus love you all. Peace and shalom. Take care and God bless you all.